this is video two of um, filling in the unit circle. And so we ended where we had put the tangent over here, and we put the cosine and sine here, and our tangent then is the same. So we just want to just kind of make sure we understand that every time the cosine is the square root of 3 over 2, here it's negative the square root of 3 over 2 because the x coordinate's negative. Here the cosine is negative square root of 3 over 2 because the x coordinate's negative. And here it's positive square root of 3 over 2 because the x coordinate is positive. Notice all my signs have the same number. Sine is 1 half. Sine is 1 half because both of these times the y coordinate is positive. Here we still have 1 half, but it becomes negative because now my y coordinate is negative. Tangent is always sine divided by cosine. We calculated that sine divided by cosine right here. Here, tangent is positive because positive divided by a positive is a positive. Here, um, positive divided by a negative is negative. Here, negative divided by a negative is a positive. And here, negative divided by a positive is a negative. But notice the number part is always the same. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get another highlighter color. I'm going to use, um, let's use green this time. Okay. And for green, I'm going to do 45 degrees, because I'm halfway between 0 and 90, which is 45. And then here, I know that these two have to add up to 180. So 180 minus 45 is 135 degrees. Remember, along the straight line, I add 180, which is going to bring me to 225. Here, along 135, I add 180 which brings me to 315 degrees. When I go to do my radians, I actually, rather than converting to radians, think if this is half of a pi, half of a half is a quarter of a pi. So this is going to be pi over 4. And then remember, these two have to add up to a pi. So if this is a fourth, of a pi, because this is a half of a half as a fourth. This is a fourth of the pi. This must be the other three-fourths of a pi. As I go along this straight line, one-fourth plus a whole pi, which is four-fourths, then becomes five-fourths pi. Here I'm at three-fourths. Go along a straight line, add four-fourths. I get seven-fourths of a pi. So I've filled in all of my degrees and my radians. Now to fill out my ordered pairs, I need to know another one of my special right triangles. So I'm down here, I'm going to continue with my special right triangles, but I'm going to remember my 45, 45. Across from each of these is 1, and the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So when I go to find that cosine and then the sine, let's look at that. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over the square root of 2. I need to rationalize my denominator. And I get the square root of 2 over 2. So I get the square root of 2 over 2. Well, the sine of 45 is opposite over hypotenuse, which is also 1 over the square root of 2. So these end up being the same, the square root of 2 over 2. I can't tell if you can tell that's a 2. Which makes this really easy, that both the cosine and the sine are square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2. Fill it in down here. Square root of 2 over 2. 
over here, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. Then, when I go to find the tangent, sine over cosine, I'm dividing square root of 2 over 2 by the same number as the square root of 2 over 2. So any number divided by itself is simply 1. This is going to be then negative 1. Here I'm going to be at positive 1. Here I'm going to be at negative 1. And then my last set to highlight, this time I'll highlight in blue. My blue angle is 60 degrees away. This was 30. This is 60 degrees away. Well, 60, remember these two have to add to 180, so that must be 120. And then along the line, I can add 180, which is 240. 120, I can add 180, which is 300 degrees. Then for my 60 degrees in radians, I'm going to go ahead and convert that to radians. So I have 60 degrees times pi over 180 which is 60 over 180 pi. We can both be divided by 10. 6 eighteenths becomes 1 third pi. So this becomes 1 third pi. Well, if this is a third of a pi, remember these add up to a pi, so that's 2 thirds of a pi. That way they add up to the whole pi. And then along the straight line, we add a pi which would be one-third plus three-thirds, which would give me four-thirds pi. And two-thirds plus a whole pi, or three-thirds, would give me five-thirds pi. That is a three. Now, for my um, cosine and sine, if I go down to my special right triangle, I'm looking for the cosine of 60 degrees. Cosine is a, um, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 1 half. And the sine is going to be square root of 3 over 2, because it's opposite over hypotenuse. So notice, for the 30 and the 60, all I've done is switched my x and y. So this is 1 half, square root of 3 over 2, switch that, 1 half, Square root of 3 over 2, 1 half, square root of 3 over 2. So if I can even just figure out my 30, I know that my 60 is the inverse of it, where I just switch x and y. And then my tangent is sine over cosine, so it's going to be square root of 3 over 2 over 1 half. So let's go ahead and do that down here where I had done my other work. So I've got square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, which is square root of 3 over 2 times the reciprocal 2 over 1. And I'm just left with the square root of 3 for that tangent. So I get the square root of 3, the square root of 3, and I already have that negative sign there, the square root of 3, and the square root of 3. Now, the reason we do the colors is the colors help us to keep track and make sure that everything that's on the same color has the same numbers. My x coordinates 1 half, y coordinate square root of 3 over 2, my tangent is the square root of 3. I check my other blue. 1 half square root of 3 over 2, square root of 3. Only thing that changes are my signs because of the quadrants. Come down here to this blue, 1 half square root of 3 over 2, my tangent is square root of 3. My other blue, 1 half square root of 3 over 2, square root of 3. My pinks should all match, my greens should all match, and the colors help me to keep track. If I want to, I can also use my um, highlighter to help me um, with the, my fourth highlighted color can be my four corners, which also follows those rules. My coordinates are the same, 
just my um, signs are going to change. And that is my unit circle.